Right. Well, we can yeah. we can help you defuse a lot of that. We really can by just doing the same thing basically over and over. Mm. Which is coming back to see, for instance, there's something talking to something. But I don't know what this is, and I don't know what that is. Because both the talk the talker and the talk to are well, they're really illusory. They feel real, they look real, they sound real, they can you can touch them, they feel real. But what's touching them is it's a dream touch. And when I go to sleep, if I find a pirate treasure, and I used to do that when I was a child, I, I read Treasure Island about a million times, and I used to come upon a pirate treasure regularly in my dreams. And the first thing, and we were we were not well to do, and the first thing I wanted to do was bring that treasure back. And I would wake up in my bed without that treasure, and it would just kill me, and I would immediately try to go back to sleep. and go. Sometimes I could get back there back on the beach where the pirate treasure was and I could visualize what I could do with it and all that. And before I woke up and found out it was all bogus. <laughs> so yeah. recognizing that we do have these experience, we have experiences, we have wars, if you will, the wars of mind, all of us do. And, um, but all of us that have those are under the illusion of one thing, and that's that you can't have that in the absence of an Annette. So if you can bring yourself back to just the record momentary, that's all you got is the moment. Just come back to the moment that, you know, the truth is, I don't know what I am. I mean, I know it's called divinity, but what is that? That was a name because we couldn't think of anything to call that. But we needed something to where we could talk about it and share it. So we came up with that name, but it's just a name. It doesn't describe what I am. I don't even, and I, so I just don't know what I am. I know who I am, so to speak, in this divinity aspect, but I don't know what I am. And I don't know what's going on here. Because I don't know what's what I am. I can't possibly judge what's going on here. Mm -hmm. And in the absence of knowing what I am, and the absence of knowing what's going on here, these are the two truths I must tell myself. I actually don't have the information to find out what's wrong here. As a matter of fact, without knowing who I am or what's going on here, I can't find anything wrong here i can't find anything out of place or broken i find this as it is and in the absence of knowing in the absence of a of a, of a presence of a center of a, of, of a mental center over here there's no resistance there's no pushback it's just like so, so these experiences they just they just fall over they just fall over it's where we're like um, we're 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 like a, a, a stones of a brook, yeah. And it just all these things the, the water just washes over us. But if water goes dry, then that's not so much fun, maybe. But the water doesn't have to go dry. When it starts to go dry, we come back here. We come back to this is what I call the basic humility. And this is the, the this is the chief problem in non duality or any other spirituality for that matter, is it's a lack of humility because we believe that we know that there's something wrong here. And if you're not careful, the next thing that will come up, we believe we have a solution for it mm -hmm. and we believe we should fix it. And none of that is true. It's only going to be true to a character. It's only going to be true to an Annette or a Fred. Mm 